Hi guys, I'm Marie from Ramblings of a Daydreamer. Welcome to In My Mailbox Week 18, I think. Um, I had a great book week this week. Great book week. In um, October and November, I signed up for My Bookworm Santa, hosted by Michelle from Book Briefs and Brie from The Magic Attic. And because this is my first year book blogging, this is my first Christmas book blogging, so my first time doing any sort of secret Santa thing. So I only signed up for one. There were a few, and that was the first one I saw. And so I signed up. And I sent my book to my person, like I think the day I got her name, because I wanted to make sure it got to her. And I saw on her blog this week that she got her book, so I was really happy about that. And I had to stop myself from telling her that I was glad she got it, because we're not supposed to tell each other till Christmas. And then I got what my secret Santa sent me. But it wasn't one book. It wasn't even two books. It was three freaking books. Three books. I, like, just about swallowed my tongue. I could not believe it. All night long, I kept saying to my mom, three books, three books. Like, I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it generosity like that just blows my mind because I can't afford to buy books and I wish I could have sent my person well actually she only there was only one book on her list that I could find that was out everything else hadn't been released yet so I had to search and search and search and search and search to find her but yeah then there was like the master list where you could send stuff to people I would have loved to do that I would love to participate in random acts of kindness but I don't have money for that so to receive three books like blew my mind so thank you so much to my secret Santa whoever you are I love you and I would love to give you hugs and kisses and squeeze you and love you because you're so generous and I can't wait till Christmas to find out who you are so I can thank you properly as if the gushing that I'm doing right now isn't enough hopefully you'll see this and know how insanely grateful I am so anyway the books she sent me Dark Mirror by MJ Putney. Very, very excited about this. I've heard fantastic things about this. Um, I've read Mary Jo Putney's, one of her uh, historic romance novels, but I haven't read any of her young adult books. And like I said, I've heard fantastic things about this, and my library doesn't have it, so that's why it was on my wish list. Cannot wait to read this one. And then, Firelight by Sophie Jordan. Another one that I've been wanting to read forever. I've heard mixed reviews about this one, but I'm really excited to read it. It sounds really good. And another one that my library doesn't have, so very excited about that. And Shade by Jerry Smith Reddy. Another one my library doesn't have, so imagine that. Isn't that... I couldn't believe it. Because there were a few on my list that the library has but that I really wanted to own. So, good choices, Secret Santa. <laughs> and thank you, again, truly. Honestly, I just about cried. Like, I was so happy and so blown away by this person's generosity. So thank you, truly, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for that. And my birthday's next week, so that's, like, doubly exciting. And today I went to the library and I got, not a book, but if you've watched my videos you've seen this a million times probably because I keep getting True Blood from the library. Uh, this is the, this is season three. The last disc is the only one that I need. And they've had them, they've had them separately for some reason so I've had to get each one separately and it takes a few weeks to get each one and then I forget what's happening. And now they have the whole season now that I'm on the last disc. Yeah. But whatever. Um, so, True Blood, season three. Excited about that. And The Next Always by Nora Roberts. If you know me at all, you will know that Nora Roberts is one of my favorite authors and that I have said for years that I want to be Nora Roberts when I grow up. Because as a writer, she is one of my biggest inspirations. I aspire to be like her. Um, just a fantastic writer. 
and so prolific. Like, I don't think she sleeps. I don't know how she could sleep, honestly. The, the amount of books that she writes, the research that goes into them, like, it's just mind-blowing. And if I have even a quarter of her success someday, I will be a very happy person. So this is book one in the In Boonesboro trilogy. Brand new. November 2011. But it's new to me. So super excited to read that. I and mean, look, it has, in the front and back, it has a map. I don't know if you can see that. But I thought that was neat. So yeah, that's what I got this week. As you can tell, I am very happy about what I got. <laughs> Thank you again to my secret Santa. Um, I think that's it. Uh, if you have been to the blog, you might have noticed that I have the schedule for the Blue Sky Days blog tour. I haven't made the announcement, like the official announcement. I was going to do that Thursday and post a teaser, but I had so much else going on that I didn't do it. But if you are on the blog and you go to the tabs, there's one that says Blue Sky Days Blog Tour. And it will run from January 17th till February 14th, so four whole weeks. And I've got 20, I think 23 people signed up. Super excited. Like, almost all my favorite bloggers are taking part in this tour. And some new people. I am over the moon about that. So, so excited. I'm getting some early reviews. I've had like three or four or five star reviews already. And yeah, sat there and cried. <laughs> so excited. And a few four star reviews. So over the moon about that too. Just a little over a month until the launch. And that makes me really whoo, like nervous and excited and terrified and yeah. So be sure to check that out, the lineup. Um, each blogger is linked, so check all those awesome people out. And this week I have a few reviews that I have to do. I'm getting behind. I have The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson, which I said last week I would post this week, and I didn't have time. And what's the other one? It's gone. I forget. Oh, um, My Soul to Take by Rachel Vincent. And right now I'm reading The Padre Puzzle by David Harry. It's a review book. I'm almost done. So that will be on the blog this week too. I think that's it. I don't have... I had two blog tours last week. I don't think I have any this week. I don't think. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's it for me. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you got in your mailbox, and I will see all you lovely people next week. Have a great week, guys. Bye.